guys, thanks for watching our channel. Today's tutorial, we're going to warp a building in Photoshop. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to select the building, take it away from the background. The easiest way to do that is to select subject. That'll select the building, not the background. And we go to edit, copy, and paste. All right. Now, that's basically what it gives us now. Okay. So we're going to click on the background here. Then it gives us a marquee tool, the lasso tool. Sorry, not the marquee tool. We're going to select around the image. And we're going to get rid of the building using what we got in the other videos, content aware. So we go up to edit, come down to fill. Content away. Wait until that's done. It's quite a large image, actually. It's um, 600 or 6,000 pixels in the width. So it's quite a big file. And then we just click that here tool. If it's done, so it goes to our background. Now, we've got the image itself. What we're going to do with the image, we're going to warp it so that it's, you know, it's quite cool. So, to warp it, you've got different ways of doing it. You go up to Filter, Liquify. A lot of people use Liquify because it's nice and easy to use. And it keeps everything in proportion and keeps it all nice and crisp and sharp and clean. Um, just using the, the one we've got at the top here on the left, which is the Forward Warp tool. Just moving it like this, and then you can shape the building just whichever way you want in this, you know, make it look like an hourglass figure if you want. Um, we're not going to do that one, because what we're going to do, we're actually going to shift the whole entire thing into a different shape. I'll show you what I mean. Edit, transform, if you go to distort or warp, these are the ones we're going to be using. Distort, you can start doing things like this. See, it keeps it all in proportion, which is pretty good. Now it's now see what's happening. It's when you change it like that, it's different angles, you're doing different things like that. So that's the beauty of distortion. We're going to try and keep the building more or less like in proportion. Okay, for that. And we go up to edit, come down to transform and warp. This is quite interesting. This is where you can make major big shapes to an object. This is very similar to the puppet warp one the transformation boxes or the different points that you can actually click on and, and warp the image with. It's like a vector graphic type of thing. It's, it's quite easy. Or you just go straight to the middle of the actual image and start moving it around with the cursor. Uh, now, what we're going to be doing here, uh, try and keep these edges at the top here still intact. That's the whole idea. Right, so we're going to move the building up like this. It looks like the building is doing a bit of a dance by itself. Okay, we got one. Uh, right. Now, because we've copied and pasted that one, we can just go up to edit and paste another building. And pretty much the same type of thing. Yeah, but what we're going to do, we're going to go to transform, and we're going to warp. And this dude, I'm going to have him just doing a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a similar situation stance type of thing. Yeah, maybe have a high five going on. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That guy's looking good. Okay, we go out to image, uh, edit, paste. The one. Now what I'm going to do is this one, I'm going to change the direction of it. Right. Now holding down the shift key when I'm transforming, I can just narrow things down as not in proportion. So this goes like that. Select your tool. I might even change the color of this guy, so hit Q and saturation. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's make the Green building, let's go with red pink building. Let's make it a purple building. No, it's not realistic. Red. 
Let's definitely do that. Let's do this. Right, stroke. Warp tool. Here we go. So this guy is going to be the big bender. Right, we're back here. So I want this guy to look really out there. He's going to go behind these other two images. Warp. His arms are fucking bent right in front of him. Yeah, there we go. This guy's just out of bender. <laughs> really out of bender. I just need to go that way like that. Yeah. Now we're going to drag him, put him behind this one. We want him to be sitting at the back here. Might even put him on a bit more of an angle as well. I'm going to do that, and I'll just warp him a little bit more. So I'll go to edit, transform, warp, warp it down like that. Really put him in the, the limelight. Just try to take him out of the limelight with this guy. Alright, so I'm just going to take him out for a sec, see what we've got. Like this one here. Uh, we need to put him somewhere, somewhere important, but that one is. Taking over too much of the effect. This dude, I'm going to have to unfortunately bring him down the size. He's becoming a bit too rowdy. So that was quick. Alright, get the original image. And we might put him in front as well. Now, because he's in front of this one, as you can see on the bottom here, it's going to have to be a shadow. So what I'm going to do, no, I'll get rid of this one, this one there. So the shadow is going to be like this, obviously. Come down to about to there. Right. I'm going to fill that with a color. Don't forget, I've got this on a new layer. Right. So very quickly, just going to get rid of the bits and pieces, and now bring the opacity down a little bit, a little bit. Now the angle should be this way. Get the shadow, and we go from there, and come down a bit to there. Yeah, that's better. Maybe the shadow has to be darker. Let's take it back up. Something like that. Oh, might even bring camera out like this. Try and get a bit more of a triangle. That's better. Yep. Yeah, that's better. I'm just going to go around this part here. I'm going to eliminate it on the edge of the building because we don't need that. Only this part. Okay. Right. Now, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. That looks good. Now we've got a shadow. Put this dude back in. All these dancing buildings are really. Having some fun. I'm going to change the color of him. Human saturation. Make it a blue building. Not a perfect building. I just want to get blue. What else we got? Ooh, green. Red, blue. Let's go for it. Right. Oh, now we're going to duplicate this guy again. And we're going to go back to front. Let's form horizontal. Might make him a little bit bigger. I'm going to put him in the background. Let's put him there. Another shadow. 
which means now to, oh no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's going to take him out. Put him right at the back here. Which means we have to make him smaller. That's cool. That's good. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. All right, because we've got these two going the same direction, I'm going to have to change this guy, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's probably not a good idea to do this. No, it doesn't look good. So we're just going to leave it like that. And I'm pretty sure we're done, guys. So that's how you do some warping buildings in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.